Thoughts and Friends podcast episode, I don't even know at this point, but it's Fantasy Suites, night one. The energy of the show is not really there, but we're going to bring it to you right here, right now. We're going to inject that shit into your fucking ear holes. Guy and gal, how are you feeling? Um, I could be feeling better. Could be feeling worse. I don't know why my... I don't know why my standards are so high. Um, I'm just not, it's just not doing it for me. Unfortunately, it did get better as the night went on because we were just talking about off screen. So we'll talk about it, but <sighs> could be better. It did. It yeah. did start to get a little bit more, a little bit more dramatic, but ah, it's not doing it for me. Not doing it I'm, for me. I'm getting we'll, sleepy. I'm getting sleepy we'll every it. week. We'll bring it. We'll bring the excitement, you know, I'm getting yeah, sleepy think- every week. I think it really kills us to have two bachelorettes because it's like, as soon as you're feeling really connected to one, it switches. So when we saw two of Rachel's dates back to back, uh, I liked that because it like helps us to like compare kind of to their relationships. uh, Yeah. It's it's not good when you're, when you have like three or four guys left aside and you're like, who was he with? Which one is he with? I don't, Right. Wait, who's left? Who's left for her? I don't. It's just it kind of it does get a little a little jumbled, yeah. a little bit of a mess. Yeah. And then by the time you get back to Gabby, you're like, oh yeah, her and Eric's date did go really well, and so you have to kind of like give yourself a little refresher of that oh. before hopping into, into Johnny's. So it was oh, interesting. Eric. Oh, Eric. Eric fucking blew it. We'll get to it at the end. Um, I think. One thing that hurts Gabby's side is I don't think at any point in time I've felt that she's had a strong connection with any of these guys, really. I haven't really felt like a soulmate type of sparks from any of these fine gentlemen yeah. with Gabby so far. Gabby's great, but I don't it's know. just not working out. I don't know which one I of have... you it was. I think it's I think it's been Bobby that's like, I don't think she's with anyone right now. Yeah. Like, like yeah. since I don't the think beginning. she's engaged. I definitely don't think she's engaged and I wouldn't be shocked if she wasn't with someone. Um, But I don't know. I'm kind of like going back and forth on that, but also I feel like there's been times with Gabby specifically that I'm like, Oh, okay. It seems like she has a strong enough connection or like soulmate ish, but I don't think that she is ready to be engaged. That's like the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway. Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, she definitely seems more ready than any of these guys. We haven't seen Jason yet, but the first two guys are a little... I mean, Eric's got a whole bundle of shit you could unpack with what he's got going on there. And Johnny was just like, from the first (laughs) night, we're like, yeah, no shit, dude. He wants to fuck and go to Sam Hunt concerts. That's like his deal and what he wants to do. Uh, he wants to he, go get his eyebrows waxed. Yeah, he kind of hates himself a little bit deep down, and that's that's been pretty apparent to all of us at home. I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's just gonna bury it deep down and and keep tearing up South Beach. Keep yeah, absolutely doing his um, thing. So I was happy we kicked it off with. Well, actually, we kicked it off with like the girls talking, which it felt like. I like those. I wish we had more of those because it packs in a whole lot of information in one. Like, tells us how they're feeling. They haven't seen each other, so they're catching up. And that's that was supposed more... to be that was supposed to be the appeal of the whole concept of the show. That was supposed to right. be the appeal, and there's just been none of it. And it's been a total flop, and it stinks. Yeah, they never talk to each like... other, and that. Uh... Yeah, it 
it was it was just like silly but I feel like we got more from that conversation than we did in like the first hour of the show yeah. which is kind of crazy and even that was not anything super groundbreaking it was all sort of vanilla but I agree getting them to kind of outwardly say to someone other than the guy how they're feeling about all three guys was interesting but it was also yeah. like okay, I know that's how you feel. I know that's how you feel. I know that's how you feel. I guess you're confirming all that. But yeah, I think getting more interaction between the two of them would have been good, especially with how much time they've had to pad with how bad some of these dates have been. I assume, which is why some of these dates are so short and they don't talk about them at all. Um, it's rough. Even I got really... like, like a three-peat of like boring-ass dates. <sighs> Well, he's just boring. He's just Who are we boring. talking about? Eric? Aven. Aven? Oh, I mean, all. I mean, okay. Eric's the first date. They jump off a high thing. That's the whole deal. Uh, little metaphor. Those, They're taking the leap. The cenotes or whatever, those are actually like supposed to be really freaking cool. I've been wanting yeah. to go there. All right. So I was like, that's kind of cool. It's like a very known thing. Because, like, you probably can't tell on camera, but you can see, like, all the way down into the water. It's, like, supposed to be really cool. So, I was like, oh, that's, like, a fun date. Um, you know, she had to conquer jumping off the top, you know, that whole bit. But overall, I felt like their date went really well. They couldn't get into that fantasy suite fast enough. The physical chemistry was off the charts. Yeah. And the verbal, honestly, they uh, the conversation was good. They both felt like they had a strong connection. But uh, she said then, that she wanted to crawl inside him. She did say that. Right. I think that's that. right. I she think did that's say right. that. <laughs> uh, Excuse me. Yeah, he's pretty hunky. I get it. I get it. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Eric said that he loves her or is falling in love with her. One or the loves. other. Loves he her. He said the big old L. Yep. The next morning, he, he said, I got to see the raw Gabby. I think we know what he means by that. We know what he means. Yes. Guy doesn't wear condoms. Shout out to Eric. Fuck yeah. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I mean, like, they definitely had sex all night long. Yeah, they were banging. And then uh, <laughs> when they woke up, it took an absolute nosedive into the fucking sewer. No, it didn't. No, I thought it was it was it was good. What? When they left? I, I felt that went very poorly, I thought. I mean, I feel like no. Gabby was like, no, this is not okay. I was getting that vibe. Like, she was like consoling him, but I was getting the intention that she's really? like, I don't really like that you think that I'm cheating on you by doing this. No. That was no, at no, the no. very end. No, but We're he said not- that at the beginning. At the, on the, whenever he was leaving in the morning, he basically said that to her. Is what I thought. That's the intention. That's what I was I getting get out of that, that whole conversation. I did not get that. Huh. I, I... I thought that it was like, hey, don't forget about me. And she was like, don't forget about me or something like that. Or there was something where it was like, I'm going to miss you. I don't want to leave. But that's all well, I got from that. I was getting, she was very jealous that she was going to go be with other guys. I well, think that was, I think that was clear and he that was definitely implied that it's hard to they do like talk to camera stuff off like no when they're not together it's hard to he's definitely and obviously towards the end it's very apparent he's definitely feeling those things but i thought it was more of a positive send-off in my opinion so the next morning they're talking like quietly and she's like i feel great and she asked him he's like how are you feeling he says i feel confused that was the first thing he said no no she said, how do you think I'm feeling? Because she didn't want to tell him that she was falling in love, but she wanted to like gauge to see how he was feeling. And I think that she said, how are, do you think I'm feeling? And he's like, I think that you're confused. That's what I, think, I thought I heard. I also think, well, either way, I think that's also not a great answer. I don't think that's what I want him to say. I think if I'm her, I'm like, I don't think I'm confused maybe conflicted but confused kind of is she definitely said maybe maybe i'm like shouldn't be doing what i'm doing would be how i would take that if someone said i'm if i'm like how do you think i'm feeling you're like i think you're feeling confused that's a little uh condescending it's not a great response it's not a great response she definitely said not to him but 
to camera. Um, I'm more than falling in love with Eric, but I'm. She wants to just say it once. She wants to just say it once. She wants to be at the very end. Yeah. Just the one person. There was because a lot of, everything of last last yeah last season. Wants to be one person. So she, I feel like she's definitely at that point in the show. We'll circle back later on Eric, but at that point, I thought she, it was pretty positive. Um, yeah, I thought it was. I thought know, it was so positive with a little, with little negative. That's, fair. that's probably a little fair. That's probably a little okay. fair because he was okay. obviously feeling. Obviously, he's feeling complete that, yeah. dumpster dive at that point was was incorrect, but it definitely sputtered out, and we had some hiccups toward the end because, yeah. like, you don't want to outwardly show your jealousy in this game situation, whatever. We're all feeling it. It's the whole game. Don't tell me this now that we've been doing this for three, however many months we've been doing this. Don't tell me now that it's like, actually, I think it's, a, I'm feeling a little weird about you dating all the other guys. It's like, well, it's a little too late for that. We go into this. This is, this happens. And it's different season. because they're having sex, I guess, but you knew this, you, you knew this was going to happen. And I think that everyone just gets so surprised by how they're feeling at this point. They always feel like, oh, I'm not actually going to like this person. And then they do. And they're like, what the fuck? Wait, wait a second. Yeah. You can't, you wait can't a damn do minute. that. You can't mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. You're probably right. So, okay. So we've said what we needed to say about that. Then we go on to the absolute snooze fest of Rachel and Avon. It they went so on a boat. Boring. End of date. Um, they kissed. They, they kissed a lot. And she they just felt, interviewed Tino else, the whole time. What else did they did? Yeah, they did. It was just Jesse and Tino the whole time. Um, she felt accepted by his parents. Um, um, yeah. There was not much that went on. Like, I literally no. can't even remember what they did at the evening she, portion. She asked Fireworks. him if, he, if he's ready for an engagement. And he said that he's 100% oh. ready. Um, she says that she's falling in love with him. Tino yeah, bitched yeah. about his parents. Tino That's right. She's like, yeah, my dad, so I kind of fuck him, whatever. We'll get more to that. Yeah, Avon, nothing. Just just giving me nothing to go off of. And the show didn't give me anything to go off of because they just interviewed another person the entire time he was on his date, which is yeah, probably very telling. They were, yeah, right. They were probably just making out the whole time. Therefore, there was not much... Do you think the Not cameraman's just like, I mean, I don't know what we're going to use from this. this <laughs> no, we can't. Probably. We can't use any of this. No, he's probably like, damn, fucking, this is nice for me. Not good for... Fucking nodding off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, just, hey, you're, you're blowing it. You're blowing it. <laughs> yeah. Not great. All right. Yeah. We're going to Tino. They ride horses. Yeah. It's. I mean, the, the dates themselves are all basically the same thing. I mean... They ride horses, they jump off. It's, you know, like a little tiny adventure thing. They get the shot and then they talk. Yeah. I, so, okay. The day portion of Tino's date felt so fucking awkward. And then, like, once they got to the night portion, they were like, today was fun, but we yeah, felt like there was, about. I was like, yeah. was it fun? No, it wasn't fun because they just there was the elephant in the room the entire time that they just wouldn't address during the day. They waited. Yeah. They put it off until night, I guess. Bro, bro. Tino, my boy was leaking. Yeah, he was wiping sweat off his face. It was very funny. My boy was so hot in, there. in that Mexico heat. My boy was leaking and it was so funny. And he was mm -hmm. also, yeah, getting getting grilled at the same time. And it looks like he's just he's just losing it. Very I feel funny. like, yeah, I feel like Tino is, I don't know. He's tainted in my eyes now. Why is that? He uh, basically he told her, yeah, he told her, yeah, hundred percent. They're going to like you. He's like, mm, I don't know if that's a, that's a hundred, a hundred percent. No, I don't think that is true. Tino. I understand Ooh. your sentiment that it's like, I, I basically is telling her I'll choose you over them if it comes down to it. He said that without saying that, I think. Yeah. I think he also didn't really get the full extent of their conversation. And Rachel kind of filled him in more on what they said. And he was like, oh, that's pretty fucked up. Damn. I'm not really a fan of that. Maybe they uh, didn't right. like you, actually. Uh, on second thought, yeah. maybe they hate you. <laughs> but He's then like, he oh. gives a monologue he i mean it's like a rom-com climax he just absolutely smashed it he hit it out of the fucking park 
I don't know. Do you think? Yeah, I think he hit every note. He was, you know, all the tropes. He's like, I would go through this time after time That's again true. for you. I would, I would fight for you. And I think I'll make this work no matter what. And I'm not leaving here without you. Like he smashed it and maybe it's yeah. a little disingenuous, but it was, it was good. It felt written, but I like said, in a impressive way. I feel like they really do like each other a lot. Yeah. I think he, after their talk there, I was like, it's game over. Tino's going to win. He said he, for sure. He said those three, those three little words. He said them. They both did mm-hmm. for the first time. It wasn't like the bullshit, like, oh, I'm falling in love with you. Or I could see myself on. It was straight up. Yeah, Rachel, I love you. I love you. And she said it same way. First time all season. Yep. Yeah. I think that she like she literally like lit the fuck up as soon as she heard him say that. Oh, yeah. And it was you could like see it Damn. going off of her Damn. face. Yeah. So Brody. Yeah, the I smile. Just, she just started smiling ear to ear. She, yeah. She's like, this is what I wanted you to tell me. Just reassure that everything's going to be okay. Let me know that you feel as strongly for me as I do for you. And he did. And yeah. he won himself the game. And I think that the only thing that he, she really needed to hear in that moment was that he also it could acknowledge that his parents were wrong with how they handled it. Mm-hmm. So when she gave that further explanation and he validated her and it was like, yeah, and I love you. She was like, perfect. Wrap this up. Check. We're going check. Yeah. Give me that skeleton check. key that most definitely check. doesn't open up my room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. No I think he was very realistic about, he didn't <laughs> say right away that his parents would love them, but like, yeah, just like, explaining that your parents were also the same way last season. They were kind of like, this is a little oh. weird falling in love on a reality TV show. I'm not sure if I can really understand or get behind Ish. this. But if that's who you pick, that's who you pick. You're my son and we'll figure it out. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. You brought up uh, they should they should uh with a little handwritten note, they should present the like the. uh the hotel room like key card rather than those because that's i mean those are, i agree because those little keys are fake what are we doing here it doesn't go in the envelope well either like no. we could get a fun card that like the key slips into like what yeah, are we give me the, doing give me that give me that four season swipe card or whatever you guys are wherever you're staying probably somewhere nicer than that I, I don't know where they stay but yeah i don't know where they stay either um so whatever tino has redeemed himself his character arc has come and went um and then we immediately go into johnny fuck johnny that's right that's right okay that's right because we saw avon and tino back to back so then it was johnny and we knew this was doomed from the start yeah they've been showing Um, shots of this for weeks of her walking away from him on the beach Exactly. Like, so as soon as I, I saw almost her wish outfit, they didn't I even like, I wish they didn't even show those promos, honestly. Like the entire show is kind of spoiled. Not the it. entire show, but so much of it is spoiled. And we'll get to it, but this one Yeah, is, come they, on. They fumbled it. Spoil it to the nth degree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um he does least. say before they part ways, he does say one of my favorite favorite lines of the maybe the entire season. Gabby's the dopest girl I've ever hung with. And that's, you know, when I think of, when I think of when I, if I could be engaged to someone in a week, I definitely want them to be the dopest I've ever hung with for sure. Yo, that bitch yeah. is chill as fuck. Dude, she's tight. When, she's when tight. he said that, I was just like, bro, like you've got to grow up. He's so yeah. fucking weird. And like, he's 25, she's 30 he's 25, something. Yeah. It's not going to happen. It's no. just not no. going to work. We're just at completely different parts of our lives. We're not going to get married. This was never truly in the cards, you know? It was she never just thought he was kind of hot. Happen. She just brought him along for the ride. They did exactly. vibe. They vibed well. It was fun. They had some good dates. What are we doing here? What are we doing? They're BFFs. It's yeah. fine. Um, so so yeah. we get him revealing <laughs> that he's like not feeling or he's he's not ready to get married he's like if it comes down to it and an engagement is on the line here i don't know if i can get there and i think you deserve someone that does so i'm basically going to pull myself out of the running here 
And well, yeah. we don't know that. They cut to a break, assuming that's what's going to happen. We get a Bachelor in Paradise ad, and Johnny is just plastered right on top of it. It's like front and center. Just skip the next part of it. Why would you even? Why would you even show the rest of it? We know what we, happens after this. You couldn't have just not had him in there. Is Johnny that big of a draw in the commercial that you have to put him in there? We're, we're some people like, on the fence, and they're like, waited. "Oh, Johnny's in there." Couldn't Fuck, have waited yeah. another commercial break for that one. What's the right? I think that it was a fuck up on accident. Yeah, oh, it hundred percent had to be, had to be. But yeah, maybe it just seems like that's not that just wouldn't happen. It seems like they're just so tight, and it's such a big thing. I don't know. Who knows? I feel like overall that was a complete waste of fucking time. Like, no, we knew after a couple weeks ago. I would say we knew Johnny wasn't going to win. So, like. We don't waste our time with showing all of that unless he's going to cause drama because it was just cordial. There's, there's no one else. There's no one else. There's nothing else. There's no other drama. They got nothing. None of these guys are good. Unfortunately, that's that's the drama that we're left with. And I feel like she like started crying and then she was like, oh, I'm not actually that Do I sad. Care? No, I don't think I care. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, this is honestly a relief. I didn't want to yeah. tell one of these guys, no, I get to kick that down the can for another week before I have to t- make any yeah. decisions. And at this point, at this point, it, then it kind of turns on her. At this point, because to me, I, I was mostly 95% positive from the Eric uh, first, the first day. So I'm like, Eric, I mean, this guy's in the driver's seat. He killed it. J- Johnny's out. And now we're left with the third. Jason. Yeah, Jason left for his date. So, I mean, got to be leg up Eric at this point. Were you not feeling the same way, Brody? You were like, Jason's in the driver. You didn't think it went as well? well or- I mean, I didn't think that Eric like was on the strongest of standings. And until you see what happens with Jason, it's hard to say. Like, I didn't feel like compared to him and Tino, it's not even close. Like Tino, I was like, basically, she he could have got down on a knee right there and she would have said yes. Or is Eric mm-hmm. not only because of the night after, but it is still like their relationship just isn't as far along or as as strong as it seems like Tino's or even Rachel and Zach's relationship, honestly. Um, and then whenever you, like you just can't. I don't know. Like, I understand you're going to feel jealous and feel that way, but you just, you got to tell that to a producer and a cameraman. You don't tell her that because right. not, not even that it's bad to feel that way, but like, she's going through it as much as you are. Like, it's as much of a mind fuck for her. So you don't need to like offload that onto her. Like she understands like that's, we can, we don't need to say, and, and I like at the end we do get him like directly pressuring her, but like he was kind of doing that in like a half hearted indirect way at the end of the first date i felt yeah i maybe i'll watch it back and see like how i interpret their goodbyes of their date because i just like didn't pick up on that but eric is so here's my thing i feel like eric and gabby are absolutely the most compatible Mm-hmm. I think that they seem the best in that if they met in real life, you know, off TV, they would absolutely work. Her and Jason <clears throat> seem really great, but I don't know if I see them in the real world together. So I'm really intrigued to see his date tomorrow night. I really hope that I'm able to watch it live. I think I would be shocked if Jason, if she ends up with any of these guys, I would be shocked. I think for sure she's shocked. she's i think she's going home solo oh i really I'm, hope not like i'm i'm starting I, to lean that way but i wouldn't be shocked but i'm starting to lean that way too and i get that sad but at the same time it's like you don't want to pick someone just because you feel the need to pick someone either i i feel like i agree like, I, I don't feel that, like I'm getting your like heart just... broken by these guys like i feel like deep down this whole time none of these guys have been like the one I feel like it, with Eric, she is like mush. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like she's really into Eric. I agree. I really do. And yeah. she cried after the first date with Jason and was like, I didn't even know that I could get a love like this, like be treated well. Yeah, maybe I'm maybe I'm cynical. I, I don't hope know. you're wrong, but you're normally not, which is also annoying. Well, I don't know. I, I we'll just see. I, I want what's best for her. If she wants to be with Eric, that's fine. If she wants to say, fuck these guys, I think she's well within her rights. 
I think I think about- the show more often than not, the show should end up in a in a no contest. We're just nope, none of you guys. This is weird. This isn't how I meet people. But that's not good TV. No, it's not. Yeah, no. So I I'm intrigued. I mean, so we after after Johnny's, you know, whatever, we Ooh, get real a quick. Steer- the long shots of her walking away made me laugh out loud when she was like a million feet away on the beach and they're like behind Johnny. Like just me imagining like, okay, stand right here. She's going to be all the way over there. She's going to look sad. It's going to be really awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go keep going. Yep. Keep going. Where is she even walking to? We don't. She's just walking out into the ocean. Not sure where she's even oh, going. She's pa- she passed the boat. Just keep going. Bye, we need yeah. more. Gabby. Can you come back Hope and do one more? Can you walk back to the pier? Walk back out again? All right. Just make sure we got that. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, one thanks, more for guys. safety. One more for safety. Yep. Yeah. Are we good? Okay. And cut. That's what I want. I want more like behind the scenes production, like awkward shit that they have to do. Something to think about. Something to think about. Uh, less Avon, less Avon dates, more production, like weird setting up shots, getting shots, things like that. That that maybe could up ratings. Something to think interesting. about. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think you may uh, be in the minority on that one, but that's okay. Taking Avon's dates out would up ratings. So just like on the I surface. Think- the the downside would be for the show you would realize oh a lot of these relationships are like oh it's nothing. all fake it's nothing yeah. they're all just you know what i think would be fun if they okay. sprinkled in like if they sprinkled in like hey uh gabby and rachel have an off night because the boys are still traveling to mexico here's some behind the scenes of them just in the club and it's like doo, doo, doo. and they're just like sure. partying hooking up with traveling. guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> on the couch yeah. yeah there's in there's in bruges just surrounded by yeah no i met a guy named raul at the club last night he's i'm going with him he's my yeah. pick. right right uh made out with the bartender last night um i think i'm so i will be yeah i will be leaving um so you know i actually this is slightly off topic but i actually know of two people who went on their bachelor trips to Mexico and met a girl there and left their fiance for that woman. Two. What are the odds that I know two people that that happened to? That's a movie with Ben Stiller. Um, fuck. What's it yeah. called? Yeah. It's not, it's not good. Uh, no. Heartbreak. Uh, Heartbreak Kid. I think. Yes. Yes. That's what. Well, yeah. That's the. That's the whole movie. You know, two um, people that happened to. No shot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like actual friends, or you just like know of them college went to college mm. with them mm. one is a friend of a friend so i don't like directly know her but even just know knowing who, of them is... who who did the the leaving of the he does that make sense her. he yeah. both times uh the other girl i don't know if she found out and then broke up with him but the one that i specifically know uh i think it was like wow he, yeah Wow! Crazy. Hey, when Crazy. when you know you when you know you know. Apparently. Yeah, uh, I mean, you don't want to okay. be five years in and then be like, "Hey, I'm uh, still thinking about that girl in New Mexico." Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Here's, here's yeah. Information. Uh, someone on my bachelor trip. How'd you guys meet? Oh, well, we were all in Mexico, <laughs> and he was actually on his honeymoon. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I'm sure the girl he met's like, yeah, this is this is the guy for me. I think this is this is going to work out. Yeah. Send him on another bachelor trip. Everything's going to be fine, probably. Good track record. I think she was a stripper. Perfect. No, I mean, mm-hmm. it just writes itself. Yeah. T Pain made a song yeah. about it. She was way. Too I don't think he uh, <laughs> was getting married though. <laughs> she. Great song. It's absolutely he was crazy. The stripper. Great song. Yeah, he was. Oh, I mean. What are the odds that Johnny marries a stripper someday? Just through the roof. Yeah, minus like 5,000 for sure. Maybe multiple strippers. Mm. Yeah. Like three. Yeah. Ooh, He's I thought a about regular. this year and a half I, a pop. I thought about this again during the show. I think we did it last season. First, second, third in the fantasy suites. What are we what are we doing? If we have to mm. if we get to choose, if we get to choose where I'm are you going, going first. 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 Oh, um why? 
I'm going first because I specifically would want to make sure that I had alone time with him first so that we could like lay it all out there say like okay what's your plans for the next ones like kind of like Eric and Gabby did I'm sure but also like okay if it's not me can you just tell me now so that I can like really make this good tv like, oh my God. Crazy. sure 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 um yeah I think first is the move I think it's more e- it's you can ease more easily kind of remove the thought from your mind than if you're waiting for the other two to go before you and you just have to kind of sit and brew with it i think waiting has to be brutal either way you're waiting i think the wait has got to be not as tough going first yeah definitely. probably is there an i don't think i don't think there is an argument for going second i think there are benefits of first and third but i don't know if second has any any, no perks uh, upside or perks yeah i think there's a third... reason johnny and avon got slotted second no oh, avon, avon was, was first avon was never first. mind tino was so, second never mind i wonder yeah. how they do that yeah. you think they just draw straws no the no girls the girls pick, pick. Mm. yeah because they said in that first interview they were like who did you pick to go first and she said avon yeah i think obviously third you get to have the final impression you you're the the last thought the last experience they have before they choose um right and then, yeah, but then first... you're also compared to everyone so that's hard well that's that'll like... happen either way right that isn't that gonna i don't know i almost feel like third is like the worst because it's like what if it like lets you down you were building it up and i don't know i would not want to be last that's like got well, what be if the worst. on the other hand on the other hand what if you knock it out of the park and you're there's nothing else in their mind for the entire time like that's the lasting impression for the rest of the show sure that's... you sound awful pessimistic you sound like you maybe i just don't kind of lame in the, in, the, in the in the fantasy suites perhaps i don't know. i think regardless of your position you go in there and you take care of fucking business it doesn't matter that's the thing you just got to perform and you can't worry about anyone's game but your own you got to keep the blinders on you got to take care of business it's tough. Yeah, no, that's that's the that's the way you should think for sure. Treat it like sports. Yeah. So it's, it's only control what I can control, baby. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um nice. speaking of that, they should have they should have like sports like interviews directly after. More And what would that like, look like? Like obviously they talk to Cameron, but I mean like yeah, like directly sweaty. after like so how so how'd you think it went in there? What what was the what was the thoughts directly after? after the game here like well you know i uh thought it went well i tried hard i, I definitely gave it my all i gave it my hamstring all cramped up there it was no good uh really killed the killed the mood it's really yeah. hot yeah. i'm having it been is, hydrating you know, well enough i'm dehydrated i did cramp I, I won't lie i did cramp and i that for sure threw us off halfway through but i i battled through yeah so i think you know like tino he could get like a 30 for 30 edit based on what we saw. He started off strong. He was the front runner. He did amazing. Boom. His injury was that boom. His parents hurt him. Oh no. How's he going to recover? He was just striving to recover in his date. Told her he loved her. Boom. Connection. What an arc. What an arc. Scratch the claw for everything. What if I told you? What if I told you? Someone went from a baby back bitch to the mm. to capturing the heart of Bachelorette Nation everywhere. It's like Mr. in the background of the edit, it's like he's a baby back bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah. He did so get called good. the triple B. Never forget. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so the elephant in the room here, we end on Gabby getting a knock on the door, and it's a note, mysterious. Meet me under the bridge, blah 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 we get there here's my prediction i think because eric was just like i don't have anything to tell you i just wanted to see you he said that right when she got there and then all of a sudden he like drops that bomb so i'm like i feel like he didn't truly have anything to tell her he just wanted to see her after she had another date and then it went awry i do not think that was planned it was going so well it was going so well. And I think it could have still gone well. And I think the big... So, obviously, everyone there is feeling the same way he is. 
I would feel that way. You both right? would feel that way. Right. You do. You communicate. You can communicate that with them if you want. And they did. That was the thing. They did in the fantasy. They talked it out. And that's what they said. We talked about this in private. And then you're doing this again. That was the problem. That was bad. That just was bad. have an ounce of self control. Just that was just, bad. Just hold it in for a day. Just, just, I, just I have a shitty like it day. It's vomit. Co- I feel like it was word vomit. What, what was the, yeah, it he had was, to be. It was so bad. It was I feel so like bad. everyone has had that saying in a relationship. You say something, you're like, mm, damn, you I wish like, I hadn't said that. And it's like, I don't really mean that, but I said it out loud without really thinking about it. So he did said, I mean it? It's like, ah, fuck. The part I did write down that he said was the girl that I love, the thought of the girl I love doing that with someone else is really giving me a hard time, which is fair. That's normal and fair. That's And then I, I thought it was still going to be positive. And she's like, I know, just be patient. I know. But she it, she took it very very negatively. It, it went south fast. She was upset that they discussed it in private, and then he, on camera, get, did it again. Yeah, that was tough. him that was going tough. out of the flow of the show, out of like yeah, the knock, the note, the bridge, like you going out of your way to do this. The implication is a little bit like, hey, I don't want you to keep dating these other guys. Like, even if he's not outwardly saying that, like, there is an implication that that's what he wants and that's how she took it. And I don't think she's wrong for feeling that way. So no. you guys are Gabby or you're in that situation. What what are you doing at this point? Like when it's all, when this conversation's all said and done, or how would you? What? How am I? How am I treat? I mean, how would I think you I would have react reacted. To... I mean, I would have been pretty upset. Also, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't. I feel like that makes I me feel. feel like go ahead. Part of me, I feel like part of me, I. I feel like I would be empathetic in the way that like I get that but like Gabby particularly was very open about being okay with Clayton exploring everyone's relationships it was just the whole like I love you thing that was hard for her so I think for Gabby I don't think that she's able to empathize with Eric of being like we already fucking talked about this like why are you bringing it up like she doesn't get that insecurity that he has yeah, I don't think I, I want to feel like you're telling me how to approach these other two guys. I don't. That's not what you're here to do, and that's not what you're going to do. So please don't do that. <sighs> Such a tough, tough thing, but I am still rooting for Eric. I really am. Same. I do like him. We, uh, yeah, I empathize. I, I hear where he's coming from. But I do too. I, I don't think, think how he's feeling is wrong. I think being so Handling in her face wrong. about it is is not okay and could signal and there's negative a big, big traits difference. in a relationship. Okay, there's a big That's big difference fair. between between. Oh, I just like wouldn't. Wait, really did you outside watch, of the show? Go ahead. Brody, did you watch with um, Michaela? No. Oh, she dang. refuses. Okay, I figured, but I saw she was watching Family Feud with you, so I was just wondering, because I was like, wow, what you said just now was, like, so sophisticated. So Um, I was like, maybe that was Michaela. She loves loves Steve. As soon as Steve's gone, she's out. We all love Steve. Relatable. It's a good Um, mustache. Oh, great, great little mustache. Um, Okay, so... Going into next tomorrow, um, I think that we're going to see a lot of upsetness. We have Jason, we have Zach, uh, Eric. Oh, fuck, Zach. I always get their names mixed up. Um, and I think that it's going to be a messy episode, and that's why they added tomorrow. Um, and sadly, I I have just a weird suspicion that maybe Eric chooses to go home or there's something and Gabby goes no. after him. Mm, oh, wow. You think that's what the she's left is about? Maybe. Wow. Because he said he was traumatized by leaving his dad. And I don't know. I just, 
he's having a hard time and i don't know he is i feel for him i picked eric uh, like halfway through i'm like I, this i'm feeling good about this guy yeah i really like him i just feel bad so yeah yeah i feel bad I and mean, he's got a lot of shit going on in his head it's a lot to deal with it is not an enviable enviable situation and you can't marry him out of pity though you all you can't do that no. No, but if you can't. actually love him, you work through it, and we figure out what's actually going on here. And Look we, at Eric. We get no it one is together. marrying him out of pity. No one's marrying that man out of pity. He's a gorgeous man. I'm not not saying because of his looks. I'm saying because of his his family situation. It wasn't that long ago you were syndrome. talking shit about his about his mullet. You did talk shit about his mullet. It does feel like we've come so far since then, you know. Yeah, you've really you really turned over. A new but leaf. you guys, I'm I have this toxic trait where I pick out <laughs> these fuck boys, and then I like them. We so know. Like, do I we only know. like Eric because he's a bad boy? I don't even feel like he's he that much of a that. fuck boy. No, I feel like he, he just kind of presents visually that way. But as a guy, he's just kind of. We thought that about Nate too. We were oh, like, "Oh, he looks like a no, fuck we boy, didn't. but he's so nice." You thought that. Me and you me thought and, that. <laughs> me and Wes both thought he could win, but we both the whole time were like, "This guy this is a fucking Instagram model." Is leaving through and her? Through. Yeah. 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 Is okay. It, is he going to be the Bachelor? Chasing Cloud. And what I don't was I crazy? So. Michelle wasn't in one of those promos, was she? I kind of looked up for a second. I thought it was her. Surely she's not. No. Surely not. You might have her mix up with someone else. I don't think she looks. So. Yeah, I don't. She does I, look a little bit like Serene, I guess. I got like yeah. a glance, and I I was kind of looking down at my phone. I looked up, and she was there, and she was gone. And probably I'm almost positive it wasn't her. But okay, good. Yeah, I hope it wasn't. I just feel like she's kind of moved on. Like she's not even posting on social media hardly. Like. Um, although she did throw shade on good old TikTok, which I really liked someone like, um, you know, I talked about the TikTok last episode where I was like, uh, Michelle might've went for Nate cause she didn't feel like she could get him out in the real life. And she commented on it and was like, Oh, so that's where it went wrong or something. And everyone was like, Oh my God, she never comments on anything. Wow. Mm, he's kind definitely crazy. serene. They do look a yeah. little bit alike. Okay. Um, do I pull the race card there? That's yeah. That's I mean, look. well, I mean, white people don't look like black people. That's, that's true. just a fact. Serene, oof, looking forward to Serene. Big fan. She, she's a she's a beautiful woman. She certainly is. So yeah, my vote is Gabby ends up not in not with any of these guys. That would be my vote, and I don't mm -hmm. think that's necessarily a bad thing. Okay. Um, I think it's like if you're her, you probably wrongfully feel like humiliated, I guess. But I don't think that's how you should actually feel. Uh, that would be my guess. And then I think Tino is is ending up with Rachel. Right. OK. I'm yeah, still, I, mean... I still thought there was a lot of positive with Eric. I'm holding out some hope there. Good. I think I think I'll still say she's ends up Here's, with him. Here's my specific prediction. The end of the show, we get nothing. We get the cast reunion, and Eric and Gabby are giving it a go. Mm, kind of like last they, season. Kind of like they, Clayton they and leave Susan. The, leave the finale apart, show up at the reunion with each other. Amazing. Okay. Clayton and Susie doing great. Well, you guys will see go. very, very soon. This is only part one. This is part one. We're gonna be back tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna we're not gonna post these separate, right? We're gonna edit them together. Is that correct? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's gonna be so long. It, it is gonna just, be long. I think we just do two. I think that's fine. Okay, we'll post two separate ones for the Tuesday night for the second half of the uh, fantasy suites two part extravaganza. Bobby will not be joining us. We'll be going solo, the two of us. The, the original. Rose. Yeah. It back might be. Long. Might be rogue with just you guys on here. You're not gonna have a the woman's touch, dude. The yeah. misogyny is gonna be out of fucking control. Yeah. These women. Although suck. I might be able to sneak away, we'll see. I really hope that I'm able to watch live. It's gonna really freaking kill it for me. If not, um, but we'll, we'll you gotta see. you gotta I... block some block some people on social media, maybe or mute them. Yeah, yeah well, above... I probably won't even be on social media. You know what I mean? I'll probably be so busy. Mm -hmm. Be good I'm like then. super busy and 
I have a life and you know, these guys don't, which is why they're no, watching and just kidding. Yeah. My life is incredibly pathetic and boring. That's uh that's just a fact. Wow. That's on God. Yeah, on God. You should yeah. apply for the show. You should apply for the show. Fuck you would have that. the worst of all. edit. You would have the worst edit. I like wrote this actually. I have this. I have this word for word in the notes for tonight. When uh, Jesse was talking to Tino and he was like freaking out, and then Eric was having his mouth. I was like, I would be a fucking mess on this show. I would be a disaster. Disaster. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you would. I mean, it's no thanks. <laughs> yeah, you would. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am you would way. So I'm way too self-conscious to ever do anything 100%. remotely like this. Yeah. Way, way too. I would be, I would be exactly where Eric's at. I'd be a wreck. And if I, ugh, ugh, I wouldn't be... make it out of the first week. I no. would just be like, ugh, she hates me. Obviously. Yeah, she's, not, obviously. she's not coming over here and talking to me. That's kind of fucked up. Yeah. 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 Right. It'd be really hard. Um, I, I don't think that a lot of people could do it. So. Or I would just people. have to like, fake it i could like go into a character and just like fake it the whole yeah way. i don't think that would get me very far but that would be the only way i could like muster up the the confidence i think yeah that's fair okay fun i can't wait to see see where we end up next week you gotta be wild you gotta sneak away for a couple minutes and jump on even if it's just on your phone whatever you gotta do we'll we'll thread it in I know. Taken. I'll just be like, unless oh you don't my watch, God, though, that, and it'll be like, I think, no, I, I won't. I, no, I will like sneak away. Like, oh my God, like my stomach's hurting. I have to go yeah. to the room. Boom. Bro, I got on. poop. Yeah. Oh, two, hour, poop. two hour poop. There was I've, a lot. I've had worse. I've got feminine <laughs> problems. That always plays. Yep. Just be like, mm, well, we can't tell you no, or else Enough lawsuit. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll take those suggestions and run with it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where I end up. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. It'll be back to back batch episodes, back to back. Thanks for listening. Uh, stay tuned for the one tomorrow. Bye. Peace.